Now today we will be starting the third kingdom of the five kingdom custom given by Vitaka, and that is kingdom Panjai. Okay, name itself kingdom Panjai. So what do you know about Panjai? Like, कहाँ पे देखा है तुम लोगों ने फंगस को? Rainy season. Okay. Rainy season में कहाँ पे? सिंपल अगर अदर एग्जाम्पल देना चाहो तो अगर कभी गलती से टिफिन में चपाती रह जाएगा और सैटरडे संडे होगा तुम लोग टिफिन निकालना भूल गए अनहाइजेनिक बट ओके समटाइम इट इज पॉसिबल राइट सो मंडे को देखोगे तो शायद उसके पूरा फंगस आ जाएगा सेम फॉर ब्रेड अगर कभी गलती से ब्रेड फ्रिज में ना रख के बाहर रख दिया और इस मॉइस्चर लाइक थोड़ा रेनी सीजन है या फिर विंटर है सो बिकॉज ऑफ मॉइस्चर द ब्रेड विल शो फंगल ग्रो एंड दैट All these things, you know, fungus is like everywhere. Everywhere, I mean, just this food, a little moisture, if you need, or for eating, if you need to provide, so it can grow anywhere. And that's why we generally say it's kind of omnipresent, just like bacteria. Like the fungus is omnipresent. But why do you think that fungus is omnipresent? Can it be? Is there any special characteristics of the fungus that makes it grow anywhere? Any idea? जैसे अभी तुमने ही बताया कि वॉल पे आता है तो जो ग्रीन कलर का वॉल पे आता है तुमने जब उसको थोड़ा क्लोजली नोटिस किया है ऑब्जर्व किया है क्या दिखता है तुम्हें वहां पे वाटर वाटर तो वॉल पे रहेगा राइट वो तो मॉइस्चर देगा बट फंगस का क्या ऐसा स्पेशल फीचर है कि वो कहीं पर भी इजिली ग्रो हो जाता है स्पोर फॉर्मेशन या स्पोर फॉर्मेशन डेट इस वन ऑफ द वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट अबाउट दिस फंगस टेसिस कि दे कैन फॉर्म स्पोर्स ओके एंड वी ऑल नो स्पोर्स मतलब ऐसा नहीं है कि स्पोर्स इस काइंड ऑफ अ डोरमेंट स्टेज ऑफ अ लाइफ जब भी भी अनफेवरेबल कंडीशन रहता है स्पोर्स रहता है और जैसे ही फेवरेबल कंडीशन आ Uh, growth from that particular soil. Okay, so same thing. That is the one important characteristic feature of fun fungus, which makes it difficult to handle. But now, you have just okay. In the house, you came to a wall. You cleaned it up. You have done this and that. But if there is a little bit of spores there, then you will see after a few days again, you will see there is a starting of again the growth of the fungus will start because the spores will again start sporulating. The moment they get moisture and the other kind of good conditions, so that is the one thing, and that's why fungal uh, growth and fungal infection is kind of difficult to handle. One more thing, like just as these spores are like present everywhere, and they are kind of not good to human health, so they actually can cause different diseases in human health. So wherever you see the fungal growth, ho raha hai, bahut jada hai se, so. Make sure that you will be not going very close to that fungal growth. If you are going there, then make sure that you are covering your nose and like nose and mouth is covered up with a cloth or something. Because if it get inhaled, it may cause uh, like different respiratory problems. Okay, so you should take care when you are whenever you see fungal growth. Yeah, okay. Well, okay, if you see fungal growth, big thing. So you should be very much careful. Okay. So before starting the exact part of fung kingdom fungi, so if you are having any doubt with the monera and the protista group or kingdom, please let me know. If no, then I will continue. Okay, so 
I think there are no doubts, so we'll continue. Okay, so let's start with the Kingdom Panjai again. Then, then, so as you all know, from Kingdom Panjai, like it is a more advanced level of uh, eukaryotic cells because prokaryotes are mostly single cell organisms. But when you, it comes to fungi, they are not more advanced than that of the prokaryotic cells. So these are the eukaryotic heterotrophs. Okay, fungus are mostly heterotrophic in nature, and they show extracellular digestion. Now you will say what is extracellular digestion and how it happens. So if you have observed this ki wall pe grow ho raha hai, ped pe grow ho raha hai. Kahi pe bhi, matlab, which is even a polymeric system. Like wall is like color hai, color hai upar kyun grow ho raha hai. Wahan par kuch khana de nahi rahe hum log. Ped, ped is like a kind of a polymeric system, cellulose. Uske upar jaise grow ho raha hai. So this fungus, they are having a very, another characteristic feature of this fungus is, they can produce extracellular enzymes. So now what are enzymes? Biocatalyst. Yeah, so it is something that will catalyze the reaction, okay, and break down the substance of substrate into a simple one. So this fungal, uh, like whatever different fungal functions are there, they actually have ability to produce different different enzymes, okay, and this because of this enzyme, whenever they are growing on a polymeric substance, they will make sure that they will have an enzyme that is actually breaking down the polymeric substance which is giving them a food but simple food they write that can help them to survive so agar mujhe aisa fungus chahiye that is actually having ability to produce cellulase so i will go and find the fungus which is actually growing on a cellulose because agar wo cellulose pe grow ho raha Definitely, it is having an ability to produce an enzyme that is cellulase. Tab bhi to wo ji paega. Agar wo cellulase ko cellulose ko break down nahi kar paega glucose mein, to wo nahi ji paega. And that is why the word extracellular is there because it actually releases the enzyme outside. Then wo enzyme break down karta hai and then whatever products are obtained after breaking down that are then utilized by the fungus. Okay, so that's why they have mentioned the term. Extra cellular digestion. They are found in both warm and humid places. So, this is what we have to do. If you have to do this, you have to do this. You have to do this. You have to do this. But there are multiple different types of fungus which are also found in the warm region. Like they do not require moisture, moisture as such. But if it's normal, then they can survive. Okay. And if you see structure voice, so they are they can be unicellular. Okay, Matlab single cell rega. An example of the unicellular fungus is yeast. Okay, the simplest fungus, yeast. Y e a s t. I think all of you have heard about yeast. Okay, so it can be unicellular or it can be made up of this uh, long threads like structure and this long thread like structure branching we can call it. Okay, it's called as a hyphen. So the fungus can be unicellular or it can be with hyphen. Okay, there are multiple differences. So, you have a type to this food, but you will also find the fungus like the mushrooms. So, people are very much fond of mushroom. So, like mushroom rice, mushroom, yay, mushroom, go, soup, and all, whatever. But these mushrooms are nothing but a fungus. Okay. And it is actually now people have started cultivating mushrooms commercially. Like the professional training, like you now many farmers are coming forward with such kind of technology. Okay. But all this is actually nothing but a fungus. And this is actually an edible fungus. Okay. So this is one of the another side of the kingdom of fungi. Not all are harmful, not all are causing some kind of disease, but there are also some fungus which are actually good to the health. So if you see mushroom, mushroom ka nutritious value itna acha hai, matlab, it contains different vitamins, contains uh, different uh, growth in uh, promoting factors and all. So it is actually a good supplementary material. 
okay and then as i mentioned ki single cellular cell cell single cellular organism bhi hote hain okay which is having a kind of protoplast with the many nuclei now what is protoplast anyone even i think bataya tha in cell structure mein so what is protoplast yeah what is protoplast ढूंढो अभी तो मैं पक्का नहीं बताऊंगा ओके सो नोट इट डाउन वॉट इज प्रोटोप्लास्ट नोटेड यस नो हेलो सब लोगों ने लिखा क्या व्हाट इज प्रोटोप्लास्ट यस तो दैट इज व्हाट आई एम आस्किंग राइट यस और नो बताओ बिकॉज़ इसका आंसर तो मैंने देने वाला इट इज वेरी सिंपल एंड आई थिंक तुम लोगों को याद नहीं है बट यू शुड कीप इट इन माइंड कि क्या है उसका मतलब ओके इट इज समथिंग रिलेटेड टू सेल इतना आई कैन टेल यू एज अ हिंट अभी बाकी क्या तुम लोग सेल एंड सेल वॉल ओके सो डेफिनेटली यू शुड नो ठीक है तो अभी नहीं कल पढ़ के आओ थोड़ा पढ़ोगे तो अच्छा लगेगा एंड देन वी ऑलवेज हैव सीन डिफरेंट कंपोजिशन ऑफ द सेल वॉल सो इन केस ऑफ मोनेरा व्हाट वाज द कंपोजिशन ऑफ सेल वॉल इन केस ऑफ मोनेरा किंगडम पेप्टोडोग्लाइकन या सो व्हिच ग्रुप इज एक्चुअली शोइंग पेप्टोडोग्लाइकन का सेल वॉल there are two group like archaea bacteria and eu bacteria eu bacteria yeah the and what is the cell wall material of uh, euglena euglena ko cell wall hota hai ya nahi hota nahi hota hmm. so what is there in case of euglena kya present hota hai cell wall cell wall nahi hota hai but tune abhi to bola हाँ तो क्या कुछ तो होता है ना इट्स नॉट लाइक वो ऐसा ही खुला है उसका साइड दैट इज समथिंग स्पेशल जो मैंने बताया भी था कि प्लीज नोट इट डाउन केयरफुल इट इज वन ऑफ द वेरी इंपोर्टेंट पॉइंट प्रोटीन एक स्पेलिकल या 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 सो इग्लोना कंटेन कोरिना सेल्स स्पेलिकल एंड नाउ अगेन वी आर कमिंग बैक टू किंगडम ऑफ फंजाय जहां पे सेल वॉल इज कंपोज्ड ऑफ काइटिन ओके सो दिस इज अगेन अ इंपॉर्टेंट वन मार्क क्वेश्चन एमसीक्यू कुछ भी जरूर ले सकते हो द सेल वॉल ऑफ अ फंजाय इज मेड अप ऑफ काइटिन और कंपोज्ड ऑफ काइटिन काइटिन क्या है काइटिन इज अ पॉलीसैकराइड नाइट्रोजनस पॉलीसैकराइड या ओके इसको हम लोग आल्सो कॉल एज फंगस है लोग और इसका जो व्हाई इट इज नाइट्रोजनस पॉलीसैकराइड बिकॉज़ इट इज मेड अप ऑफ अ कंपोनेंट और मोनोमर कॉलनेस एंड एसेटाइल ग्लूकोजमाइन तो एन रहता है दैट्स व्हाई इट इज कॉल्ड एज नाइट्रो क्या नाइट्रोजनस पॉलीसैकराइड ओके एंड देयर आर मल्टीपल एग्जांपल यू विल फाइंड अबाउट दिस पर्टिकुलर इन दिस पर्टिकुलर पंदे को इतना कुछ से मतलब बहुत चार आई विल गिव एग्जांपल्स ऑफ दिस कॉल्ड राइजोपस सैकरोमाइसिस ओके सो यू विल सी सो एज आई मेंशन दे आर यूनिसेलुलर or they can be filamentous or they can mushroom like so this is just to show you when i say unicellular fungi fungus what do i exactly mean by so this is the first thing which actually shows a uh, unicellular fungus then when i say filamentous with the hyphae and all so see yahan pe growth bhi alag raha hai you can see multiple branching it's like growth like structure right so this is called as filamentous fungus and in case of <coughs> mushrooms you know how the mushrooms look like right there is a kind of stalk like structure uske upar umbrella like head so these are the 
three main uh, structures with the living findings, kingdom forms. Okay. Now, it is east and all. Then there is contains the filamentous fungi, which consists of a body called as mycelium. Okay, so you have seen just dekha image, the central image. So this typical thread-like structure, which is also called as mycelium, and this mycelium is also branching. So we actually call it as a hyphae. Okay, so this hyphae is which is in its body, well, fungi, fungi's body. They can be of two types. It can be with septa or without septa. Now septa is something that can act septa or septum. Tum logo ne agar pehle kab sunai karega yeh septa or septum. Matlab something that divides, jo separate karta hai. Okay. So this septa or separate uh, with the other uh, this septa thing is actually the one jo hyphae ko different different small small parts mein divide karta. So you can see how in this diagram, this is a filamentous fungus ka typical a diagrammatic representation. So when I say with septa, you can see how this hyphae or here partition hai, har ek different compartment like or har ek make small small black spot you will find, which is a nucleus. Okay, so this is a typical hyphae with the septa. But if you see without septa case, you have a beach where partition is not present, and it's like Completely one system. There are multiple nucleus. You can see one, two, three, four. But there is no different uh, uh, separation as such. Okay, so that is why we call it as a without septa. Okay, and since it is see, so you have in case of with septa, you can say okay, okay, each compartment is having nucleus, so it can be uninucleus. But in this case, without septa case, as multiple nucleus are present, we call it as a multinucleate. Okay. And such type of hyphae, which are actually non-septate, multinucleate, are called as sinocytic hyphae. Okay, I repeat, the hyphae which are non-septate and having multiple nucleus are called as sinocytic hyphae. Samja? And then there are other type which I already have discussed. Is is like yeah, you can see the small small cells, circular cells. Okay, and you see the modified version is the pseudomycelium but now we do not need to go into details about blastospore or stomycelium. I just want to tell you the difference between the septa and without septa. You know for some yeah? This is only with respect to the filamentous fungi. Is it clear? Is it clear? Is it not clear? What? So, when I say this fungus ka jo structure hai, that can be unicellular or a multicellular, right? So, when I talk about the multicellular, like not multicellular, but uh, more unicellular or filament, this is more correct words, okay? So, the fungus can be unicellular, you have to single single cells, right? Separate cells, right? Or it can be a filamentous. You have a network like structure, a thread like structure, and the thread like structure also shows a branching called as hypha. So, this is the typical filamentous structure of the body, which is called as mycelium. So, small, small thread like structure you will find there. Okay, and this small thread like structure is called as mycelium. Now, when you say that you have a branching of the mycelium, it is called as hypha. So, this hypha of a particular Fungal, fungus may be of two types, okay? So it can be with septa or without septa. Now what is septa? Septa is kind of, septa matlab, singularly we call it as septa, but of separation. Okay, so let's say this is a one thread-like structure. You can see this diagram, all of you can see this diagram, right? So this is a one thread-like structure, you have to branching Now when we say with septa, you can see you have a compartment, say one, Two, three, yeah, okay. again one, two, three, four, and each compartment contains a small, small dot. The small dot represents the nuclear. So such structure, yeah, we have not got hypha hai, that is actually having the compartment, or we can say separation from each other, is called as filamentous fungi having this 
हाइफे विथ सेप्टा बट अगर तुम्हारे फिलामेंटल फंगी का जो सेप्टा फंगी फंगस जो है उसमें अगर सेप्टा प्रेजेंट नहीं है इट मीन इट इज विदाउट सेप्टा तो यू कैन सी इन सेकेंड केस क्या होते हैं जिस बीच बीच वाला जो लाइन है वो गायब हो गया है यहाँ पे देर इज नोट एंड दैट्स वाई कैन सी डॉट्स वन टू थ्री आज सब फ्रीली यहाँ पे घूम रहा है and that is why it is called as considered a single cell and we call it as a multi nucleate because there is no septa there is no separation present in this type of filamentous fungus okay and such type of fungus which contains a non septet multi nucleate hyphid non septet matlab there is no separation multi nucleate matlab there are multiple nucleus present and multiple multiple nucleus present in a hyphae such kind of fungus are called as the fungus with the synocytic hyphae and such kind of hyphae is called as a synocytic hyphae clear so you have yes, to you need yes, to keep sir. three points in the mind pehli baat to there are two major types there are three major types ki okay it can be unicellular it can be filamentous or it can be mushroom like okay so now you know so that okay small cells are mushroom like come you can see the umbrella like head and so okay But the filamentous is it is more of more important because it shows presence of mycelium and hyphae. Okay, if I mean hyphae, I said so hyphae can be of two types: septa without septa. And the third point is like if it's without septa, it will be having a multiple nucleus and that is called as a synocytic. So the thing for that I try to highlight everything like each point in a on each slide so that you will get to know that what you have to remember. आई अंडरस्टैंड कि पूरा का पूरा बुक तो रट नहीं सकते पढ़ना पड़ेगा सब कुछ बट देन लिखना क्या है वो तो हम लोग को पता होना चाहिए टिपिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ द फिलामेंटस तो मूविंग अहेड की उनका डिफरेंट डिफरेंट प्रोसेस कैसे चलता है सो सबसे इम्पोर्टेंट पॉइंट इज द न्यूट्रिशन सो वी ऑल नो फंगस आर वॉट ऑटोमोटिक हेट्रोट्रॉपिक सो द फंगस शोज हेट्रोट्रॉपिक मोड ऑफ न्यूट्रिशन and they are mostly saprophytic what is saprophytic kal hi bataya tha i think mera saprophytic dead organism shayad so the one we actually feeds, yeah feeds and decompose on a decompose and feed on a dead decayed one okay so that is why it's called as sep- yeah saprophytic okay and some of the fungus are actually parasitic it means wo khud ka khana khud nahi banate rather they prefer to be dependent on a host and then predators bhi hai which will look for prey to get their food so that's what you have to keep in mind so see, there are multiple whenever someone asks you to write a Not short note on the kingdom fungi. You need to write. First of all, that its cellular organization is how. Cell wall's important point. Second, third one is about this mycelium thing. Fourth one is like nutrition. Fifth one is like rate production. And sixth one is about its ecological relationship. Which I will tell you. So you need to be very much smart to work. So here, it's not like I have about hyphae. आधा पेज लिख दिया नहीं यू हैव टू बी वेरी मच स्मार्ट अगर तुम्हारा क्वेश्चन दो मार्क का है तो राइट मैक्सिमम सिक्स पॉइंट मतलब चार इनफ रहते हैं बट दो फॉर सेफर साइड बिकॉज इन सच काइंड ऑफ शॉर्ट नोट्स विद सम टाइम वी हैव टू बी वेरी मच प्रिसाइज कि ओके कुछ पॉइंट्स इंपॉर्टेंट होते हैं वो लिखने ही पड़ते हैं बिकॉज दे कंटेंस नो सो इट्स बेटर टू गो विद द सेफर साइड तो तब ये सब पॉइंट्स याद रखना है कि हम लोगों को न्यूट्रिशन के बारे में मेंशन करना ही है ग्रोथ के बारे में मेंशन करना ही है ओके सो डोंट बी जस्ट ऐसा ब्लाइंडली थोड़ा सा पढ़ा चार लाइन साठ का लिख दिया पीछे का भूल गया नहीं बी अ स्मार्ट लर्नर एंड स्मार्ट राइटर ओके एट दिस मोमेंट ऑन और ये खुद को आदत लगाओ सो दैट यू इट विल बी हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू फॉर योर बोर्ड एग्जामिनेशन ओके नहीं तो देख लेंगे अभी एक साल ये बाद में होगा नहीं होता सो स्टार्टिंग से ही वो एक बार आदत लग जाएगा तो इट विल बी गुड फॉर यू ओके सो कमिंग बैक टू द टॉपिक सो दैट वाज ऑल अबाउट न्यूट्रिशन नाउ रिप्रोडक्शन अगेन वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस ऑफ ऑल द लिविंग थिंग्स राइट रिप्रोडक्शन तो करना पड़ेगा सो दैट दे विल 
keep on mentoring their uh, what can I say? Uh, they can continue their life kind of thing. मतलब वो अपना एक generation maintain कर सकते हैं हर हर time पे. Okay, so they can reproduce by both sexually as well as asexual method. Okay, so sexual methods mostly includes gamete formation and all. However, asexual reproduction takes place by fragmentation, fission. So you must have heard about binary fission, multiple fission type things, and the budding. So yeast is the one which actually shows budding, and I hope you will get a chance to observe yeast in a microscope. And sometimes you actually see a small small buds coming out from the mother cell, and that's actually also. I mean, what must be there? When we look at microscope, we see it. Okay, so there are multiple methods used for asexual reproduction. Now, coming towards the ecological relationship, which is another important point. Okay, now what does it? So some fungi are actually symbiotic. Symbiotic means they actually form some kind of relationship with some other organism, where both of them get benefit. Okay, means two friends living together. Every time, so that and both of them are helping them each other every time, kind of thing. So that is called a symbiotic relationship. ऐसे नहीं कि एक को दूसरा exploit कर रहे हो तो it's not like that kind of relationship कि जहाँ पे कोई एक exploit हो रहा है या फिर एक का ही फायदा हो रहा है एक नुकसान हो रहा है no. In case of symbiotic, both are equally involved and both are equally helping each other. Okay, that's why it is like kind of relationship जहाँ पे दोनों को भी फायदा होता है. So it is a symbiotic relationship. So the fungus shows the symbiotic relationship, and it is called as lichens. Okay. What is lichens? Lichens actually includes a two components. One is a fungal component. That's what we are trying to tell you. And the second one is a algal component. Okay. So they actually so the algae is a photosynthetic, so they keep on providing the food to the Fungus. In return, the fungus provides minerals and other kind of nutrients to the algae. And as long as they are there, they survive for a longer period. Okay, so that is a, one example of a symbiotic relationship between the fungus and the algae, and it is known as lichen. I will explain in I will explain lichen in detail in the next slide. Okay, so don't worry about that. And another kind of symbiotic relationship is mycorrhiza. Anyone, what is mycorrhiza? राइजोजीनेसिस So whenever the word rhiza, rhizogenesis, something comes, it is something related to the roots. Okay. So mycorrhiza is actually an association of a fungus with the roots of higher plant. There are two types of mycorrhiza: ecto mycorrhiza and endo mycorrhiza. The name itself, ecto मतलब जो roots के बाहर से present रहेगा, endo मतलब वो it will actually form a inter like under the network बना चलो करेगा. Okay. Whatever type of network is ecto हो या endo हो, उसका काम है to form association with these roots of a higher plant. So I hope you are able to see this diagram यहाँ पे. So the first one जो तुमको green लग रहा है, सब ने देखा रहेगा ये सिंग. But किसी को पता नहीं रहेगा कि ये क्या है. This is how the lichens look like. Okay? So बारिश में वगैरह या even in any like ऐसा hilly regions में अगर तुम लोग trekking के वगैरह कभी जाते रहोगे, so you must have seen मतलब ऐसे पत्थर के वगैरह ये बहुत जगह पे दिखेगा एंड दैट इज नथिंग बट अ लाइक इन व्हिच इज अ सिंबायोटिक रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन द अलगी एंड द फंगस ओके सो दैट्स व्हाट द फर्स्ट इमेज शोस इन अ सेकंड इमेज इफ यू सी देयर इज दिस फंगस इट्स अ डायग्रामेटिक रिप्रेजेंटेशन ओके पिक्टोरियल वन सो देयर इज अ लार्ज बिग और हायर प्लांट उसके रूट से ओके एंड उसके बाद में फंगस ग्रो है नाउ दिस फंगस विल स्टार्ट इंटरैक्टिंग विद द रूट्स ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर प्लांट एंड इट विल हेल्प इट With respect to getting the water and the other kind of minerals, in return the plant will provide 
kind of food in form of carbohydrate to the fungus so that it can survive. Okay, and such kind of relationship is called as symbiotic relationship. So here, the fungus can be benefit hai, and this body tree can be benefit. So it is kind of mutual benefits both of them are get. And this is called as mycorrhiza. Okay. So now I've said just about like this. Do I mean I tell you? I said I will talk about it in detail. So this is actually for you to read, but I will just give you. म्यूचुअल बेनिफिट तो दोनों को भी कुछ ना कुछ फायदा होता है ओके सो देर आर टू कम्पोन एज वी नो सो जो उसका अलगल में उसको हम लोग बोलते हैं फाइकोबाय एंड जो उसका फंगल मेंबर है उसको हम लोग बोलते हैं माइकोबाय तो जो फाइकोबाय है वो मोस्टली बिलोंग करता है तो साइनोबैक्टेरिया और ग्रीन एलगे ओके आई अंडरस्टैंड तुम लोग का अभी तो किंगडम प्लांट नहीं हुआ है तो शायद तुम लोग को ये साइनोबैक्टेरिया ग्रीन एलगे इतना फैमिलियर टर्म्स नहीं रहेगा बट दीज आर जस्ट अ टाइप्स ऑफ अलगल ग्रुप लाइक This is a type of the algae groups. Okay, so there are multiple types of algae, and this is one of those. In case of fungal member, it is called as mycobiont. Okay, so why they are having a symbiotic relationship? What is happening in them? So actually, the algal component is it again provides food to the fungal part, while the fungus component is it provides shelter to the alga. It also absorbs water and minerals to the अलगा तो सेम जैसे हमने देखा माइक्रोराइजा में सिमिलर थिंग इज हैपनिंग हियर आल्सो एक उसको फूड दे रहा है एक उसको वाटर एंड मिनरल्स प्रोवाइड कर ओके एंड इट इज वेरी वेरी इंटेंस काइंड ऑफ रिलेशनशिप ओके एंड दैट्स व्हाई व्हेन एवर पीपल सी लाइक इट दे एक्चुअली डोंट अंडरस्टैंड कि वो अलगे है या फंगस है या इट इज समथिंग एल्स सो इट इज वेरी इंटेंस एंड इट इज लाइक इट लुक्स लाइक अ वन सिंगल ऑर्गेनिज्म Okay, so that is one kind of or the symbiotic relationship in case of algae and the fungus. Why it is of importance? I will just tell you that it is of very extreme importance in the nature because uh, first thing it acts as a pollution indicator. Okay, so mainly air pollution. So they are even ever there is air pollution, you will not find any lichens around. Why? Just that's why I made the example here. That if you go to some trekking place, you will find such kind of things on the rocks and all. Why? Because trekking place, where do you go? 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 Where do you go pollution indicator okay especially indicator of air pollution okay so they also play important role in a soil formation because wo weathering of rock karte hain so they actually produce some kind of uh, acids which helps in a weathering so i hope you know what is so jo rock ko hum log matlab you know how soil forms like right? rock ka kya bolte hain usko breaking ho ho ke ho ke matlab the rock keep on giving Out the small small particles of soil, and that's how like this is because of the physical process like naturally wind, rain, and all the multiple factors. But even the lichens contribute to this process by producing specific acids. Okay, and you can see there is one example they have given that is a parmelia. Okay, so these are the this is just to give you a. little information about what are lichens and why they are important okay i hope you understood what i just explained about lichens if you not if you did not understand anything let me know yeah and in next class we will be having revision okay but tum tharo revision because i i think tum log thoda lost ho kahi pe The response which I used to get earlier, वो भी मेरे को मिल नहीं रहा है, so I don't know. या फिर seven thirty को morning mood के सोने का मन करता है क्या वापस? कहाँ पे सब लोग?
सो जस्ट टू चेक कितना किसको समझा है इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी विल बी हैविंग अ रिवीजन ओके सो बी प्रिपेयर आई होप यू ऑल आर रीडिंग जितना मैं सी एवरी डे आई एम जस्ट वेरी ट्राइंग टू कवर अप ओनली वन किंगडम व्हिच इज हार्डली हाफ और वन पेज इन योर बुक एंड आई थिंक 24 फोर आवर्स में दस मिनट तो दे ही सकते हो वो एक पेज पढ़ने के लिए सो डू इट टूडे अगेन एंड टूमारो मे विल सी किसको कितना समझा एंड आई एक्चुअली वॉन्ट एंसर्स फ्रॉम एवरी वन सो I forgot and districts of network issues and all को नहीं चलेगा ओके अगर नाम लिया है तो आंसर करना ही पड़ेगा ओके आई होप आई एम क्लियर एंड एवरी वन है सो विद दिस आई विल कंटिन्यू अगेन सो अब तक हमने क्या देखा कि उसका स्ट्रक्चर क्या है उसका न्यूट्रिशन मोड क्या है रिप्रोडक्शन कैसे करता है सिम्बैटिक रिलेशनशिप के बारे में देखा नाउ वी आल्सो नीड टू नो कि इट इज नॉट जस्ट लाइक कि उसका फायदा है ही है लाइक देर आर सम फंगस विच आर यूजफुल जैसे कि मैंने मशरूम्स का बोला था कि दे आर एडिबल एंड हैविंग अ गुड न्यूट्रिशन सप्लीमेंट बट देर आर मेनी विच आर हार्मफुल ऑल्सो ओके सो अगर मैं अच्छे मतलब गुड यूजफुल फंगस की बात करूँ so it includes mushroom as i mentioned previously also and yeast this is very common news for bakeries and breweries so you will always hear this term bakers yeast brewers yeast can someone tell me exactly which organism is called as bakers yeast or brewers yeast हेलो व्हाट इज बेकरी बेकरी में क्या मिलता है इस प्रोडक्ट या बेसिकली बेकरी में हम लोग को क्या मिलता है ब्रेड पाव लाइक समथिंग व्हिच इज अ काइंड ऑफ फर्मेंटेड वन एंड जो फर्मेंटेशन करता है दैट इज एक्चुअली डन बाय दिस ईस्ट ओके okay, मतलब क्या सीओ टू वो क्यों इतना फ्लफी क्यों रहता है केक या फिर ब्रेड पाव सॉफ्ट सॉफ्ट रहता है फ्लफी रहता है उसमें बहुत सारे स्मॉल स्मॉल स्पंज स्मॉल स्मॉल पोर्स रहते हैं वाई इट इज बिकॉज ऑफ द कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड विच इज रिलीज ड्यूरिंग द प्रोसेस ऑफ फर्मेंटेशन तो ये सब करता कौन है इट इज एक्चुअली डन बाय द ईस्ट Known as bakers is in case of bakery. Breweries क्या होता है वैसे anyone? What is breweries? Bakery तो ठीक है जहाँ पे पाव मिलता है bread मिलता है समझ गए. What is breweries? Okay, so beer production. So it is mainly involved in a alcoholic like beer production, wine production. So mainly breweries. When we talk about breweries, it's mainly a beer production. okay so in that case also we require yeast and that is called a brewers yeast so there is this organism known as saccharomyces cerevisiae it is a scientific name of a yeast which is called as bakers yeast or brewers yeast okay please note it down it is one of the very important question i repeat the name of the organism or the yeast it is known as saccharomyces cerevisiae clear sir repeat saccharomyces cerevisiae you will find the name in a next slide somewhere so don't worry but just keep in mind bakers is brewers is okay then there are there then there is one which is involved in our antibiotic production penicillin very 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 important one the first ever antibiotic found by scientist known as alexander fleming ओके नीड पीपल नोट इट डाउन एलेक्जेंडर फ्लेमिंग ने सबसे पहला एंटीबायोटिक कौन सा बनाया था एंड दैट इज पेनिसिलिन व्हिच वाज ऑब्टेन फ्रॉम अ फंगस नोन एज पेनिसिलियम एंड इट वाज अ एक्सीडेंटल डिस्कवरी एनीवन व्हाट इज एक्सीडेंटल डिस्कवरी गलती से या गलती से नहीं बोल सकता मैं मतलब 
उसको बाहर रख दिया अंदर रखना भूल गया था जहाँ पे उसको रखना था स्टोर में जब वो सेकेंड डे आके देखा तो उसमें कुछ और ही ग्रो हो गया था और जो ग्रो हो गया था उसने उसको बैक्टीरिया को मार दिया था ही वॉज वेरी मच क्यूरियस की और ये क्या प्रूफ हो गया वो तो गया पर उसने मेरे जो इम्पोर्टेंट बैठ गया था उसने मार दिया एंड फ्रॉम दैट इट्स द स्टोरी बिगेन दे सारे एक्सपेक्ट थिंग वो ये जो ग्रो हुआ है वो क्या है उसने क्या प्रोड्यूस किया है दैट्स हाउ द इंटरेस्ट गॉट डेवलप एंड ही स्टार्टेड डिस्कवरिंग एंड रिसर्चिंग अबाउट दैट पर्टिकुलर थिंग जो वहाँ पे ग्रो हुआ था and he found that it is a penicillin it produces a particular compound which can inhibit the growth of the gram positive organisms okay which can which there are which actually have a thick layer of peptidin like that. so penicillin is actually the one antibiotic which inhibits the cell wall synthesis and that's how that it kills the growth of it kills the bacteria or inhibit its growth okay so that these are all applications of fungus ki wo मशरूम में खा मशरूम के फॉर्म में खा सकते हैं इस है एंड देर मल्टीपल अदर एप्लीकेशन हवेवर एज आई ऑलवेज सी देर आर ऑलवेज टू साइड टू द पॉइंट तो एक साइड अच्छा है तो एक साइड उसका बुरा भी है देर आर मेनी हार्मफुल फंगस और फंजा विच आर एक्चुअली कॉजिंग डिसीज इन प्लांट्स इन एनिमल्स मेनी थिंग्स ओके एंड That is one of the difficult thing. So, if fungal infection has happened, it's not like it was treatable, not or curable. It is. You can always treat it, but it takes time. Okay. So that's why it's always better to take care and always be very cautious and take all the possible precautions whenever you are dealing with the fungus. Okay, because it's not that easy to handle thing. Okay, one of the example of the fungus is Fuchsinia. Fuchsinia is a fungus that actually causes. So, ये सबने देखा रहेगा मतलब plants पे ऐसा कभी-कभी दिखता है. Rust like मतलब तो oranges, red color का things. That is nothing but the Fuchsinia graminis, which is a fungus, and it causes the disease called as stem rust. So, you can see यहाँ पे diagram. This this looks like a rust, right? But it is like a fungus. It's actually a fungus. That's why the disease is called as stem rust. okay so it is caused by the fungus known known as fuchsinia graminis okay now that's all about the basic introduction about fungus wo kya hai kaise hai types kya hai uh, sorry wo kya hai kaise useful uh, applications kya hai harmful problems kya hai and everything now we are moving towards the important part ki classification jaise ki maine hamesha bola hai ki They are there is a like large number of fungus, fungi. It's not like one, two, hey, or so easily. I'm not studying that. It's like a lot of abundance. So that's why it is important to classify these fungi. So initially, these were very confused. Who is the basis to classify them? Just like we have seen that in case of Protista, the classification was based on the locomotory organ. In case of uh, Monera, the classification was based on a on what? In case of Monera, what was the basis of classification? On what basis do we classify them as a U bacteria and R K bacteria? Peptide like. Mainly we can say cell wall ka composition. Okay. So similar in a way here also in case of fungi, the classification is based on three factors which includes the structure. Is it like whether it's a unicellular, filamentous, or mushroom-like? Its mode of spore formation, okay, so that the all, and then the what kind of fruiting bodies it forms. Okay, so based on these three factors, there are four types of fungus, known as phycomycetes, ascomycetes, basidiomycetes, and deuteromycetes. Okay, I repeat, there are four types of fungus: phycomycetes, ascomycetes. basidiomycetes and deuteromycetes so what is phycomycetes okay phycomycetes are the fungus which actually uh, behaves like a algae that's why they are called as a algal fungi okay so in this case the mycelium is made up of a accepted synocytic hyphae 
okay and we mostly grow on a bread or like any no normal jahan bhi tum log fungus dekhte ho ghar mein wagera like bread pe chapati pe even like normal kitchen waste le gaye the that is mostly of phycomycetes so okay if this is the typical example how the fungus grows on a bread and it is a typical diagrammatic representation of a mucor which is a, one of the example of uh, phycomycetes so you can see मतलब इवन दिस ब्रेड इज ग्रोविंग लाइक दिस यहाँ पर लोग दिख नहीं रहा है बट अगर तुम लोग उसको माइक्रोस्कोपिकली देखोगे यू विल फाइंड सच स्ट्रक्चर ओके सो देर इज अफा सबसे नीचे उसके ऊपर देर इज अंजियम यहाँ से स्पोर्स निकलेंगे और इट कैन कीप ऑन ग्रोइंग एंड ग्रोइंग एंड ग्रोइंग ओके सो दिस काइंड ऑफ फंगस इज एक्चुअली ग्रो जनरली ग्रो इन मॉइस्ट एंड डैम हैबिट एंड एज दे जनरली feed on decaying organic matter sometimes they are also present in the aquatic habitats and as a as a, as, a, as they are mostly heterotrophic they also behaves as a parasites on plants okay their job is to just get food they will decay karke lena hai parasitic way mein lena hai that is a second thing फूड चाहिए वो इम्पोर्टेंट ग्रो करना है वो इम्पोर्टेंट स्पोर्ट्स प्रोड्यूस करना है वो उससे भी ज्यादा इम्पोर्टेंट थिंग एग्जाम्पल्स ऑफ सच काइंड ऑफ फाइकोमाइसिड्स इंक्लूड्स म्यूको राइजोफर्स विच इज टिपिकल ब्रेड मोल्ड एंड अल्बिगो विच इज अ पैरासाइटिक फंगस विच ग्रोज ऑन अ मस्टर्ड Okay, so now you actually have to be sort of more focused on attentive, and you actually need to remember this thing. So if tomorrow someone asks you a question, which fungus causes, or known as a bread mold, or causes a uh, can grow on a bread, you should be able to know the answer. It's rhizopus, which is a parasitic fungus growing on mustard. You should be able to tell it's albigo. So, थोड़ा सा अभी तुम लोगों को याद रखना पड़ेगा और ठीक से पढ़ना पड़ेगा. So don't behave like कि ये सब नहीं आएगा स्पेशली नीट वाले थोड़ा ध्यान से देखो ओके देन द सेकंड ग्रुप कम्स दैट इज द एस्कोमाइसिस दीस आर आल्सो कॉल्ड एज सैक फंगस ओके सो यू हैव टू कीप दिस इन माइंड अप फाइकोमाइसिस अल्गल फंगी एस्कोमाइसिस सैक फंगी इसके आगे आई कैन बेस्पियोमाइसिस व्हिच आल्सो कॉल्ड एज क्लब फंगी और उसके आगे आता है ड्यूटेरोमाइसिस विच कॉल्ड एस इम्परफेक्ट फंगी सो इनका कॉमन लैंग्वेज उनको याद रखना है कि क्या बोलते हैं सो वन सेक फंगी बिकॉज दिस एक्चुअली है वो सेक लाइक स्ट्रक्चर जहां पे वो लोग अपना स्पोर्स जमा करके रखते हैं ओके सो दीज आर मोस्टली मल्टीसेलुलर हाउएवर देयर इज वन ऑर्गेनिज्म व्हिच बिलोंग्स टू एस्कोमाइसिस दैट इज ईस्ट व्हिच इज अ यूनिसेलुलर स्ट्रक्चर सो दिस इज अ टिपिकल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ सेकोमाइसिस रेमेसी so this is the microscopic image and you can see spherical small small circle uh, structures are there these all are yeast cells and yahan pe kai pe to i think there should be i don't know yahan pe if you are able to see my uh, cursor yahan pe you can see the small one thing is coming out from the bigger one that is the way the budding happens i know so difficult jayega but okay i will show you the another good image yahan pe budding to yahan pe dikh raha hai But this is how the is look like under the typical optical microscope. Okay, in this particular type of fungus, the hyphae are branch and septate. Okay, in case of phycomycer, it was aseptic. In this case, it is septate. So you have to again keep in mind comparing comparing the one group with another group. So at last, I will give you differentiate between the. Phycomycetes, Ascomycetes, Deuteromycetes and Basidiomycetes. तुम लोगों को उसमें common points क्या हैं और different points क्या हैं वो लिखने के लिए. Okay? And the sex fungi can be decomposers. That's what all the fungi are mostly. They can be also parasite. Yeah. Again, most of the fungi are parasite in nature. Or they can be coprophilus. Now, coprophilus new term. I understand. So coprophilus मतलब the fungus that actually grows on a dung or a animal waste. Okay, now why they are growing on in a dung? Because what happens? This capitulous fungi they produce their spores. The spores generally present on a grass and the other plant structures. 
जब भी कोई भी हार्दी वो रस एनिमल लाइक लेट्स काउ और बफेलो वो लोग खाने के लिए जाते हैं और वो ग्रास खा लेते हैं The the time they eat the grass, they eat grass, also eat the spores, right? तो अभी स्पोर्स तो मेरी दे कैन सर्वाइव दर्स कंडीशन एन ऑल तो वो ऐसे ही उसके ट्रैक से पास होके फाइनली इट मूव आउट फ्रॉम द मूव आउट फ्रॉम द एनिमल्स बॉडी बाय एक्सप्रेशन और जैसे ही वो एक्सप्रेशन से थ्रू आया बाहर आता है इट गेट्स इट गेट्स फेवरेबल कंडीशन इट विल स्टार्ट ग्रोइंग एंड देन द डंग इज द वन विच एक्चुअली प्रोवाइड्स द मोस्ट फेवरेबल कंडीशन That's why they are called as a coprophilus organisms. Okay, so they can be decomposers, parasites, or coprophilus. Okay, and the example of this type of as of asthmatic fungi is this Aspergillus niger, very very commonly known. Okay, so the Aspergillus niger is of very much importance from a commercial point of view. So there are some acids and all which are organic acids basically which are produced. Commercially is because of the fermentation by Aspergillus niger. Then there is a penicillin. As I mentioned, it is giving us the antibiotic penicillin. Then there is other examples like Claviceps and Neutrospora and Unicellular means Saccharomyces cerevisiae. So in this also in this group also of Aspergillus, there are few like Morels and Truffles, which are a which are actually edible so they can be eaten up by the normal people there are no harmful effects as such uh, and there is another example of like neurospora class which is one of the very well studied fungus i would say and it is actually useful in a genetic and biochemical studies so matlab in logo ne isko as a biological model use kiya hai pest animal use kiya hai to study different different genetic and biochemical processes ओके सो द डायग्राम्स जो पिक्टर पिक्चर्स जो हम लोग को ये स्लाइड पर दिख रहा है द फर्स्ट वन इज द एस्पेगिलस नाइक सेकंड वन इज द मोरस एंड द थर्ड वन इज द पेनिसिलिन सो द प्लेट यू सी दैट्स हाउ द फंगस ग्रोस ऑन अ प्लेट अगर किसी को लैब में कुछ काम करना है तो हम लोग जब भी कुछ लैब में काम करते हैं एंड वी आर ग्रोइंग देम ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर काइंड ऑफ प्लेट तो यहां पे जो येलो कलर का दिख रहा है बैकग्राउंड प्लेट का दैट इज नथिंग बट द फूड Which is called as media in the biological terms. So this is nothing but the media which provide the all the food or nutrition required for the growth of the particular fungus or a bacteria. Okay. So these are the typical explanation about the ascomycetes. Then the next one comes about basidiomycetes. So one thing I like about this particular chapter is like they are not going anything in much details. I am trying to tell you. Few things in detail because it's good to know. But textbook में मैंने बहुत briefly explain किया है. I think उनका only intention at this moment to introduce you to this new terms. उन लोगों को उसको सिर्फ introduce कराना है कि हाँ, ascomycetes क्या है, mesodiomycetes क्या है, and not to have a very deep knowledge about any of this. So which is a good thing. Okay. So जितना भी आए उतना अच्छे से properly पढ़ो and try to understand. Just don't be like किया और बोल गया kind of thing. नहीं. Try to keep this in mind. Okay, the next type of uh, next type of fungus is basidiomycetes. Okay, so they are commonly known as the club fungi. Okay, and it mainly includes mushrooms. So, so, जब भी हम लोग मशरूम देखते हैं, दिमाग में क्या आना चाहिए? It belongs to basidiomycetes. Okay, they have a branch and a septate hyphae. Examples: agaricus. ब्रैकेट फंगी उसको उक्सिनिया का तुम लोगों को मैंने ऑलरेडी एक इमेज दिखाया था हाउ इट फॉर्म्स द रस फॉर्म्स द रस उगो इट लुक्स वेरी बियर थर्ड वन इमेज जो कॉर्न का यहाँ पर दिख रहा है ये जो व्हाइट व्हाइट लेयर उसके ऊपर फॉर्म मतलब ऐसा सुधी लेयर फॉर्म करता है इट्स लाइक काइंड ऑफ लेयर स्ट्रक्चर फंगस का बट वो बहुत गंदा दिखता है सो इट इज नथिंग बट अ उगो विच इज अजोनिक फंगी दिस इज द गोनोडर्मा ओके आई फॉर्गट टू मेन्शन द नेम इयर सो द ब्रैकेट फंगे जो मैंने लिखा है दैट इज नथिंग बट द गोनोडर्मा इट इज काइंड ऑफ एडिबल ओके एंड देन अगेरिकस मशरूम्स विच इज ऑल्सो अ एडिबल टाइप ऑफ फंगस देन द लास्ट टाइप ऑफ दिस पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप और किंगडम ऑफ फंगे इज अ ड्यूटेरोमाइसेट्स ओके सो जो वाई दिस पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप इज फॉर्म इज लाइक देर आर फ्यू फंगल स्पेसिस 
which does not belong to ascomycetes, basidiomycetes, phycomycetes, there will be no fit name or other. So for such kind of fungal species, we have on this particular group known as deuteromycetes, which is known as imperfect fungi, fungi. Okay. And they are actually known to reproduce only asexually. There is no sexual kind of reproduction. So only asexually they can produce. And the examples is alternaria and colonotricum. Now alternaria, as far as I know, it belongs to ascomycetes, but I don't know. But okay. It is also a kind of plant pathogen and it is also a kind of a fungus species which is known to cause problems in a human beings as well. So alternaria, alternaria actually had shown to cause asthma-like problems, respiratory issues in human beings. However, polylotricum, polylotricum is a fungal species belonging to deuteromycetes. You will see this kind of spots in the vegetables and all, so that is because of the polyrotrica. However, this is what there are multiple common plants where these spots are seen. And this plant, these spots are because of the alternative. However, in case of polyrotrica, it's not always kind of pathogenic. However, it can also form a symbiotic relationship with multiple plants. So it is a phytosymbiont as well as phytopathogen. So whenever the word phyto comes, it means plant. Symbiont matlab, it can form a symbiotic relationship where both pathogen and plant is having some kind of benefits. And phytopathogen matlab, pathogen matlab, phyto matlab plant, pathogen matlab a harmful agent. Pe the fungal species or any agent is actually harming the particular plant. Okay. So with this, we actually have finished the kingdom plant, uh, sorry, kingdom fungi, which is a, one of the biggest kingdom in this particular chapter. So other doubts about kingdom fungi, please raise your hand or you can just unmute and ask so that we can discuss. After that, there are introduced two more kingdoms, that is kingdom plantae and animalia, of which we are not going to discuss anything in detail because you have a separate chapters on both. So very briefly, we will discuss about plantae and animalia. And then we will move towards something known as cellular organisms like viruses and virus. Okay, so I am hoping that in next class, maybe if time we get enough time, then we will finish up this chapter, or else we will require one more lecture, like tomorrow and then one plus kind of thing. So if you are having any doubts, try to read and come with your doubts in tomorrow's or